Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys. I'm going to do a next 48-hour reading. So I hope you're doing really well. Of course, we like to ask that your spirit team join. These messages here are, well, hopefully they will resonate on, um, on a, you know, for the good here for you. All right, messages for Sagittarius, intuitive reading, and a little bit of the cards. <laughs> if you need something private, let me know, and I will get one, get a reading for you. Okay, so messages for Sagittarius, general, anything can come through. I think I've done enough talking on that sense. Ooh. Strange. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords like popped out. It's in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. All right. Well, I have a feeling that that's part of, or that is the issue. Is it tactic? Is it finding out how to how to do something? How to um, get around something? I don't know. Oh, wow. Well, that's good. Ooh. Two for outcome. Okay, well. All right. This usually comes across to me when somebody missed out on an opportunity with with you or or something from the past i don't know um it's interesting that we almost have like the two of ones right here in the past not really but these two ones you see what i'm saying um for focus your your card for the past energy is the knight of wands sometimes i denote this energy to what would be considered like a twin flame it's a very passionate playful um, here, come, come with me type of energy. It can be a little, feel a little reckless. I don't know if it has, cause I, I don't, I'm wondering if the seven of swords in the reverse is saying that there's something that's, um, transparent or somebody got caught. Maybe it's that. There's the king of pentacles with the knight of wands. That's about commitment to, you know, family and business. Commitment to, to that. And then this is changes. So there was something moving in the direction that was really good for finances, it feels like. Some unknowns with the moon can represent changes, you know, the moon energy. I feel like it's saying um, the energy is there to guide you, meaning things will be revealed kind of like little by little. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in the reverse. What is that about? Yeah. <laughs> um, so let me get another one. Let me get another one. Because sometimes I can look at this card as like un unwanted recognition and it might have to do with lying cheating or stealing um the queen of swords energy could be the challenge meaning cutting out this uh type of behavior or tactics um maybe imperable to your success or for you to see things clearly with the seven of cups this can there can be a spellbound energy with this seven of cups um, your head could feel like it's in the clouds. Um, why are you not wanting, why are you not wanting this attention? Because of disappointment, sadness, loss, regret, the things that, um, were missed or missed opportunities. Things you can't, like, time. Things you can't get back. Yeah, well, I mean, look, it, it, it is... There are some things that are very harmful to us and hurt us throughout life, but 
saying that this stuff is dead and buried and it needs to be walked away from is like it's important. The star is is like hope renewed. This is um, focusing on, I feel like, here with the heart of the matter. Because if you up your efforts, you succeed. You up your efforts, you up what your investment is, instead of focusing on this energy of the Five of Cups, instead of focusing on what didn't work, Focus on what does work, what is working. And it's like there's something that's going to come true for the heart or make the heart feel really happy about it. And the Six of Cups is how you're feeling. So if it's in that spot, it makes sense to feel like you're thinking of past memories. Maybe if, of times where you feel like it was better. Um, so the Six of Cups could be really reminiscing looking back on uh, fond memories. I feel like fond memories. Um, it could be thinking about people who have been in, out of your life or part of your soul family. Okay. So what needs to, um, what needs to be, what, what needs to be invested in and what doesn't need to be invested in with this seven of pentacles, that which isn't changing. Um, So it's like if something just didn't end and I feel like you stop giving to it though with the seven of pentacles um, to have proper closure. Tell me more about the six of cups. Tell me about how you're feeling Sagittarius. Tell me about how Sagittarius is feeling. Like not taking a risk at this time. Um, it might be regarding um, money, financial windfall. The the Queen of Wands in the upright, if it's in a love reading, means kind of like getting putting yourself back out there. You know, of course, unless we have the pair here, but and we might when we get to the end clarifying. Um, so it might just be like not trusting a situation fully, maybe because you of getting this feeling like everything's not what it seems. Maybe there was something in the past that, you know, looked really good on the surface, but you know, here we have disappointment, sadness, or regret. This is really uh, like playing it safe, playing it safe. Even if you're thinking of fond memories from the past, you're still not, um, being brave or bold in this or something like that. Tell me about the five of cups. So it's, it's the something missing when, when it feels like there's always something missing. Um, it's usually because you're carrying along with you, um, and adding to, you know, more to what you already have to carry. So, yeah, it's a something missing, and there's definitely something that um, gets transformed. The Child of Wands or Page of Wands is fun, playful. It's usually good news that's coming. Um, the Eight of Wands is in the reverse with the Ten of Pentacle in the reverse. There's Ten Ten, so patience, divine planning. Something is coming. Um, and something is going to address like a past karmic issue, uh, with established connections, maybe even like I say, past, past, um, connections to possibly the sun is in reverse, meaning that there's some things that are just non, not disclosed or not evident from the surface. It might be about who is your friend and who maybe is not necessarily a good friend. Um, and leaving those relationships behind that don't have reciprocity on the mind or have gossip or some kind of uh, behavior that just contributes to the problem instead of fixing and finding a solution. So that would be the page of pentacles is focusing on that. So this is like brand new start. It's the hopeful beginning. It's the the death card up here is the outcome with the four of pentacles in the reverse however you get to it you get to it like just allowing the change the um, ending 
to come in is um, important. It could be transformation on um, on your pentacles too, and on how on how you save or what you save or how you save back. There's going to be a Knight of Swords energy here in the future. It feels like divine timing to seize the day on something. Maybe it's a new investment or maybe it'll be something like that. So it might entail taking a little bit of a risk. But is, this is like a calculated risk with the Knight of Swords. I feel like that's okay. Like I, I feel like it's saying be brave and bold when you know that the time is going to be right to jump on something. And I think, I think that's what you do. So I think it's all going to be okay. Yeah, well, of course it's all going to be okay. You got the chariot. As long as, uh, yeah, judgment remains in the reverse, and that's that that doesn't need to remain. If if you hold on to resentment and, and you always start, you know, with judging yourself, it it takes more than just affirming out loud one time that you forgive somebody or something. So it's a process, um, and letting go of those judgments. Um, Consciously, it will help with some of the unconscious judgments that we hold to release and forgive those. Um, forgiving, releasing ourselves and others on a daily basis is like a good idea. Um, the chariot is how you get there. And I feel like something's going to speed up. It feels like once this energy of judgment um, is addressed... Not really worrying either about how other people feel about you as long as you're okay and you, you know, you are good with you and then you've released and you're good with everyone else, you know, because energetically it's like holding on to something that's not going to attract um, <clears throat> what your ten of cups would be, which is like the fairy tale ending. So this eventually gets you there with the chariot. It is not the easiest road. It's a journey. Um, it is travel with the chariot. Um but it's towards success. And look at that. Unexpected income. 27. And it's towards success. It's towards unexpected income. Oh my lord. You got the other one about it? There's, <laughs> there's only like three cards in there that have. So you got two out of the three. I'm not even going to pull another one. I'm going to. um, And then you got pathway on the bottom. <laughs> I don't want to pull another one because I don't want to jinx it. So pathway, when it's good, it's good. It's about to get really good. It's about to start moving um, even better. Right. Wow. Unexpected income and great fortune. Let's get a fortune cookie on this. Unexpected income and great fortune. Yes, you'll be looking back. Maybe the reflection of, of what was lost or mourned is kind of like looked at. It says, friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Yep. <clears throat> Use your intuition. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. Planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Also, financial gains are more than likely. And I think that's probably true with all of those also. So, let's see. Just watch your thinking. Just watch the thinking. And what you're, you know, pulling in vibration-wise, what you're pulling in. Bird flying news is on the way. Crown, honor, and respect will come to you. Lily, spiritual love, coins, money will be coming to you again. Target a goal-oriented person. And it's five. I'm going to leave it at five. Because I think that we should welcome whatever change this is. Um, because I think it's going to be for the best. So it is the pathway that leads to you hitting your target and... And you hitting your target, well, that is, it was the outcome. It's also the challenge, right? Aphrodite would be love, pleasure, pleasure in love. Aphrodite, maybe um, soulmate energy, maybe calling in some kind of romantic energy. I have Freya and I have the badass. The badass, Freya, and Aphrodite. 
and the badass. So Freya's the only one I really don't know. Of course, the badass, we would probably know what that is. Um, Freya. All right. This is about, oh, good, your blessings. The symbol, cats, love, heart, rune, swords. Um, it says, I am receiving, look, see, so you definitely have that. I am receiving the blessings of everyday life. It says, Freya is one of the most important and beloved goddesses of the North, Norse pantheon. She holds dominion over love, passion, beauty, and fertility, loves the finer things in life, and sees them as blessings to receive and experience. She is free with her love and is known to be a goddess that you put on your ritual VIP list when celebrating. Freya. Blessings of children, happy homes, and successful magic will come to you. Start a gratitude journal. Start a gratitude journal, which that's pretty smart. All right, that's what I've got for you guys. Contact me if you want a private reading and sending you love and light. Until then, bye-bye.